Jerome, how was the first day of practice? Oh, uh, it was good. Um, everybody was excited. It was hot like always, but I was definitely excited. Kim Wolf. Bake, what's up, man? Um, how you doing? We've seen, you know, the Dolphins post some videos of you, your normal energetic self. Um, what have you take? Have you taken pride, I guess, in being that 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 role, the energizer bunny, so to speak, for guys, you know, in this difficult time coming back to football? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, before everything that happens, I, I like being that energy. I like being that, um, you know, just my fun self. And um, it, it's still football. It's still the game we all love, and uh, it's definitely something we all just, you know, just have fun doing. So. I try to be that and uh, show pretty much anybody that it's still a fun game. Go to Safin. Jerome, how you doing, man? Um, you know, there's another year for you to, you know, be a team leader and, and a team captain, especially on this defense. How do you uh, take this role in, in the second season that you're going to be in? Um, I mean, for me, uh, I kind of just take it day by day in the sense of uh, I just try to be myself. I try to get better every day. Um, help this team in every way, and uh, that's that's my approach every day. So uh, just do anything and everything I can uh, to ultimately help us win. So uh, that's just how I take it. Steve Wine. Uh, how did uh, the virus make today different? Um, I mean, it's a lot of safety protocols, but um, ultimately, we on the field. It's it's still football, so. Uh, you go hard. You don't really think about anything like that. So, um, for me, you know, once we touch the field, it's still football. It's still, you know, just go hard and everything you do. And um, off the field, you know, our medical team, they do a great job of taking care of us. So, um, yeah, that, that is my approach. When you're on the field, just play football. We'll go to Omar. What's up, Jerome? What is your vision for this Dolphins defense in 2020, and how do you feel you guys have grown and improved from last year? Um, ultimately, we just got to build off what we did last year, uh, and, and that's just kind of be our approach. Of um, today was our first day in pads. We're gonna watch the film, um, and tomorrow we're gonna get better. You know, every day, and uh, ultimately, if we really do that, uh, we definitely you know be a good defense. So. Um, that's just going to be our approach for now. Is just take every day as you know the days come, and um, awesome, we'll be all right. Go to Hal. Hi, Jerome. Good to see you. Uh, mm -hmm. I know that uh, you, I'm sure you want to do as much overall improvement in your game as possible. But if I can pin you down into one thing that you're focusing on that you hope is a better version of Baker this year than last year. What is that main focus you have? Um, one thing I definitely work on is my pad level. Uh, you know, this all season, that's what I've been working on. Um, every practice, you know, I, I really be uh, just conscious of, you know, my pad level. And uh, yeah, that's just like the one thing I've been focusing on. Um, but every day I try to work on something new um, and you know, just try to also just get my game better as best as I can. So. Um, this offseason, I definitely say my pad level. Adam Beasley. Hey, Jerome, you spent some time on the COVID-19 list. How was that experience? Was it shocking when you were put on it? How did you manage it? And how are you feeling now? Um, I mean, it, it was, it is what it, it was. But, uh, you know, Kyle and those guys, our medical staff, they did a great job of just taking care of me, uh, making sure I had everything I needed. Uh, and also, it, it was just... I really just wanted to make sure our team was safe. So um, I stayed home and pretty much just watched our Zoom meetings and did that. So uh, it was definitely unique, but uh, we got through. Travis. Hey, what's going on, Jerome? I uh, wanted to ask you about Kyle Van Noy's experience doing some of the same things you do. He just told us he was a bit of a dying breed in terms of a guy that can do a little bit of everything. And being one of those guys yourself, how much does his knowledge and experience in this defense help you in that regard? Oh, it helps me every day. Uh, you know, Kyle, since the day, you know, he walked in, he kind of just been in my ear about anything and everything. Um, if it's on the field, if it's off the field, whatever it was, uh, he, he definitely been a great, you know, mentor and just a, you know, just an older vet. So uh, I definitely appreciate that. I always make fun of him because he's, I think he's like the second oldest player on the team. So uh, he's definitely, uh, he, he's unique, uh, but he, he's a great person and also a great player. Ruthie. 
Hey, Jerome, I'm wondering if there was anything that you learned about this team today, the first time putting on pads. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, you know, we still didn't watch the film yet, but um, guys just went hard. I think that was like the unique thing. We just went hard. We did everything we, we did as hard as we possibly can. And uh, it might not have been perfect, but we, we definitely got better today. We'll go to Barry. Hi, Jerome. Uh, just the value of having linebackers who are skilled in coverage. Obviously, you do that well. Van Noy, you can do a ton of things. He has good metrics and pass coverage. Uh, Camus did in Philadelphia. What's the value of that? Uh, it is a great thing. Uh, you know, you can definitely mix it up as far as, you know, our defense. But also, we just uh, – it, it just adds uh, to our overall depth in our, you know, our linebacker room. And um, it definitely helps us. And it's kind of cool that we all just kind of, you know, pick our – each other game and help each other get better. So, uh, it's definitely fun in that aspect. All right, we got one more. We'll go to Cam Wolf. Hey, Bake, I know a lot of times uh, defenders have competitions when it's a new quarterback, particularly a rookie quarterback, on who gets the first interception off of them. Uh, do you guys have anything of that sort? Uh, no, nah, we don't got anything like that. But, I mean, you know, I, I definitely uh, – not just the rookie quarterbacks, but pretty much any quarterback. Um, you know, I talk a little stuff here and there, and uh, that's just what I do. That's just, you know, how I play the game. And, uh, but we don't have anything yet, but uh, – if we do, I hope I'm the first one. <laughs>